Podge with Kathy and Steve. I'm Kathy Fillion. And I'm Steve Piacenza. And today we are going to show you one of the hottest, coolest, trendiest craft ideas photo transferring. Mod Podge has a new formula called Photo Transferring Medium, and this is going to allow you to transfer any black and white or color copy. Now you can transfer onto a lot of different things light and dark fabrics, wood, glass, acrylics tins, all sorts of things. We first want to show you some of the projects that we made for today's episode. One of them is this tote bag. We think this photo transferring technique is really fun if you want to customize a shopper or a tote or even design your own prints onto a bag. Baby onesies, these are all the rage mm -hmm. still, decorating them so great if you need a quick gift. And one thing to note is here we've done photos, but you can do graphic images as yeah. well vintage postcards or something that you design on the computer. We've got one of our acrylic podgeable shapes here. Really fun on acrylic, great look. Perfect for gift tags or ornaments yeah. or anything like that. And really fun on candles if you wanted to do like a beautiful mantelpiece. And this one we did a photo, like a, almost a reunion or you could do them for a wedding. That's a fantastic one for a gift too. A personalize a candle, beautiful. Absolutely, and you mm -hmm. can see it just goes from photo to copy to transfer, just like that. Yes, but today we are gonna show you how to transfer on top of a tea towel with these images here. Another good gift. Another great gift and it's really easy to do. But you want to make sure if you are going to transfer with words like on the tea towel down here, you want to make sure you reverse it on your copier. That's important. So what we did was we got our images here and we did the transferring. We copied it and did the reverse and all we did was cut out the image. So that's your first step. The next thing that you're gonna do is you're going to place your image, your cutout image, onto a protected work surface. We're using our craft mat, and you're also going to want to protect the surface underneath your fabric. Our tea towel, we've gone ahead and pre-washed it and ironed it so it's nice and flat where we want our image to be. And we'll just pull out some of that onto our image, and you're going to use a thick coat, about 1 16th of an inch, you don't want to see the image through it. If you see a little bit of the color of the words, that's fine, but you don't want it to be translucent. So nice thick coat like that. And then you don't want to touch it, just barely touch it on the edges, just like so. And then you'll position it where you want it, place it down, and then start in the center, tap it, and then just gently Smooth it out, make sure you don't have any air bubbles. And I like to go around and just make sure I seal that edge with my finger. If any of the formula scoots out underneath the paper, you can just wipe it with a wet rag. I think we got a pretty clean placement on this one. Very good. Smooth that down. Now you're gonna let that sit for 24 hours. If you're in a really humid climate, a little bit longer possibly, but 24 hours once it's dry, you'll be ready to remove the paper. Okay, now once it's dried for 24 hours, like this one is right here, all you're gonna do is you're gonna take a sponge with some water, make sure you wring out that sponge, and you wanna go over your entire image just like so. Now you're gonna be able to see the water go right on top, see how that's changing? And you want to make sure that you hit the whole entire image, all the areas. I can get a little bit more water there. Go right on top. Okay, see how it completely changed color there? Now you can see the image. Then I'm going to add just a little bit more water and really get that damp. Now you want to let this sit with the water on top of it soaking through for two minutes. So let's do that completely saturated. You can already see the design coming through. Yeah, so we're gonna let that sit for two minutes. And me and Kathy are gonna go get a cup of coffee and we'll be right back. <laughs> okay, so two minutes have passed and I've wrung out my sponge. Just keep it a little bit damp. And what you're gonna do in circular motions is go right over your image, right on top of the paper. And as you can see, that paper is coming up nice and easy. And you're gonna do that across the whole entire image. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? Ooh, I love these colors too. And what so I pretty. love about this project is you can personalize anything with any image. It's so great. So look at here, you can see this. It's coming up very easily. And of course, brush off just that extra paper. Beautiful. 
Isn't that great? And you just want to work it, keep working it until it's nice and clean. You might have to go over it a couple times, no big deal. All right, that's good enough for now, and let's just show you that. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Beautiful. Looks gorgeous. Now this is going to be able to be laundered. If you do it on any fabric, she'll be able to launder it, but you want to let it cure for 72 hours, and then you can wash it and cool. Of course, you can hand wash mm -hmm. it. Uh, you can dry it on low or line dry it, and you just want to be sure you don't iron over it or get it dry cleaned. But really, it's as simple as that to take your photos and transfer them to any kind of fabric or surface that you want. And there you have it. So thank you for joining us. I'm Mod Podge with Kathy and Steve, and don't forget to try some photo transferring. We'll see you next time. Bye. Love that turned it. out good. Yeah, it's a great one. The baby blue is so perfect with the pink. Well, I think we should make a set of four, now that we started this one. And then have a tea party? Yeah. <laughs>